Hello everyone, this is a QJS tutorial video to show you how to edit your point slides and polygons. In order for us to actually use the edit feature, we have to click on this little toggle edit icon, or this little pencil, which can either be done through the, through the toolbar or through the drop down menu right here. Now depending on whichever layer you have selected, that is, that is actually the layer that will have a little pencil icon next to it indicating that the edit feature is enabled. There are, a, there are a lot of different edit tools that you can use. And actually for point signs and polygons, each one of them actually has a specific set that they can use. Alright, so let's get to some editing. The first thing I want to do though is actually select a group of points using the select area icon, which is that little uh, yellow box with the arrow next to it. And what I just did here is actually I chose the Move tool, which if you click and hold your mouse button with the selected points, you're allowed to move and drag them ar around across the layer screen. In case you accidentally make a mistake or want to undo your moves, you can simply go to the Edit menu and choose Undo, or by pressing on your keyboard the Control key and Z key at the same time. Here we have the edit menu, which shows all the active functions that we can do with the point layer. Now, normally, if the toggle edit button is inactive, most of these options would actually be, excuse me, grayed out. I think now for the time being, what I'm going to do is actually choose the rotate option and click our little selected group of points and decide to rotate them. Now, as you may notice, a little red crosshair appeared. That indicates that's actually the center of the points, and we can actually rotate the points around uh, that little crosshair. Again, uh, same procedure. If you want to undo anything, simply click the Undo button. Okay, so I've unselected our points, and right now we're actually going to check out the line editing features that are now available to us. And, what, and I think we'll check out with the rivers. And actually, as you can notice on the map, uh, each little vertices is actually now covered by a red X, or a red little crosshair. This indicates that we can actually uh, click on those points and actually interact with them. For instance, we could use the offset feature to create an offset curve, which essentially what it does is it basically takes your line and, and you can extend it a certain amount of distance. And what it would do is for any of the jagged sharp points, it will actually create a curved line out of it this in turn actually creates a much more smoother line. As you can see from this little example I'm doing, I'm going to offset it by just a very short distance. Now the the entire line will, will move over, but as you notice most of the jagged vertices have actually not been transformed into curved lines, which again is much more appeasing to the human eye as opposed to those jagged straight lines. Alright, with lines out of the way, I'm going to now move on to examining briefly the polygon editing options. Now, you're also probably wondering, why in the world would I ever want to use these editing options? I mean, isn't the data already correct? Well, yes and no. As long as the database, databases are updated constantly, the data should be correct. But, you could also use these editing features, say, if you want to look into where would the next best place for a supermarket be? You could then actually import, or should I say, create your own point in your map or layers, and then you could actually then figure out using other advanced techniques such as a Voronoi diagram to figure out what is the best range of coverage for your supermarket, uh, what's the best uh, distance between you and your customers, and other facts like that. And this actually makes it this actually makes editing very important for GIS. Now, actually, here I was actually attempting to use the simplification editing tool, but for some weird reason my QAG has decided not to show it this time, so I thought why not try it with, with a different uh, line layer, but for some reason that feature did not work either. So I guess I'll, I'll give you a brief description. The simplification tool allows you to basically take a very very jagged looking line and essentially turn it into one big straight line, um, which actually would turn the St. John's River here, the one I was trying to work with uh, just now, into a very long linear line. In any case, that covers this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.